right, now before you tap out, I wanna I wanna jump subjects because I really wanna get your opinion, Jay, on Carisha, please. She just dropped her pod the day before yesterday. She did a million views in 24 hours, 33 minutes long. She sits down with her longtime friend, uh, Saucy Santana, to talk about her situation. Um, did you get a chance to watch it? I did not watch the whole thing. I started it. I tried to watch it, but I just couldn't even. I, I couldn't. Like, I tried to. Uh, all right. So what do you, from your perspective, what did you see was done right and what you see was wrong? Um... I mean, I love the fact that like she's trying to come out and tell her truth. Uh, you can't put a time on that, right? Because if I, it's easy for me to say, maybe you should have been done this. We don't care now. But I think like when you're going through something, bro, like you can't put a time on that. So I think she was ready. I love the fact that she sat down with um, Saucy Santana, her close friend. Um, again, I didn't watch the whole thing, so I don't really know what she talked about. I tried to. I started. I think she started crying within like the first five minutes, and I think I might have just tuned out. I don't know why. I'm not trying to be insensitive. It just is what it is. But um, I love the way it looked. I love how it was shot. I love that she did this. I love that it's still on Revolt for, for some I, I like that. I mean, I, I think that's dope. Um, hey, yo, his shoes are killing. <laughs> yeah his shoes are insane like what what kind of space boots i love the aesthetic i, I think I, bro, I i think it's fire bro i think I, I love the fact that she can that she's in a space where she can do this now i did see something about her saying something about Delion. she absolutely wrong nobody is drinking Delion because of carisha like no nobody is drinking Delion because of young miami nobody that i know nobody so I, like I, she was like the fact that she was insinuating that she helped she put it on the map. Right. Like, what are you talking about? Nah, I don't agree I, with that. I've been, I've been drinking De Leon. Like, that was the first black dude that I remember having his own tequila, and I love tequila. So when I found out Diddy had it, I, I ran to it. Yeah, then you got to you know think. It was a, it was a, it was a, it was a series of events as adults from from my perspective. Right, we was doing vodka where we was drinking uh new amsterdam pinnacle uh you know uh, uh, all of that pinnacle. stuff right and it went from that to hennessy and then it went from hennessy to tequila right so diddy was running with ciroc for a long ass time so we really ain't had nothing to support diddy from when it came to drinking from from african-american because a lot of us just in my circle we wasn't drinking vodka no more we was drinking tequila right so when we see Delion come we like, oh, we can go back to fucking with the black man. It was mm -hmm. never nothing about Carisha, please. Like, so when she said that, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I mean, I'm just saying, that's just my, that's my opinion. So, right, tell me, why do you, why did you decide to go like, eh, I don't want to watch this no more? What was it that was, that was either turning you off or? You I know think it might have been that, but also the cry. It just, and then it was a few things where I saw it was 33 minutes long. So I'm like, you can't possibly be getting into no type of bag in 33 minutes. In my opinion, again, I'm just assuming. I'm like, it got, so I automatically thought like, this doesn't make sense when I seen 33 minutes. Like usually when you're thinking about a conversation and you think about like a uh, pain, you think about, I think about time. I think about patience. I think about, uh, I don't know how long it takes for you to open up, for you to really start to really reflect. That's just my opinion. So when I seen 33 minutes, I'm like, I was kind of like confused. And then when I started it, I'm like, I think it's dope that it's Saucy Santana, but I think she like the tears came too fast for me. And then even with the uh, the the uh, the Delion thing, I just ain't agree with it. So I was like, man, and I, and I just I don't know. They ain't have nothing to do with big uh, with um Saucy Santana being on there. Nah, I think that's fire when it comes to like production and like you know. No, nah, because I know I know that you were saying when you uh, interviewed Big Sexy that it was like it made you uncomfortable and stuff. So oh no, 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 no! It, Big Sexy, it was only one part, not the entire, not it, not the interview of his entirety. Just when you start promoting, like, yo, I ain't gonna put y'all out there, bro. Come fuck with me. I'm like, oh, oh, <laughs> that was the only part, not the interview in his entirety. It was just him like promoting it. No, I'm just saying, I know okay, but no, 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 I think. Stuff. As a creative and like this, you know, like I, I got this creative mind where I like to create moments and shit. I think Saucy Santana being on there was fire. Shit. Even if it was JT, like I think that was dope. That was that was a, a great play for real. Yeah. I felt like Saucy did a good job trying to 
alley oop for her. Wow. Like he was setting up the shots, and then she was on, and he was good with protecting her when she would say stuff out of pocket. There was a couple times when she said some shit, and I'm like, woo! And he jumped there like, you but that's mean another thing say? that I didn't like though. I think that because it, it was again, I didn't watch the whole thing, but it was it felt un, it, it didn't feel real. Like so, when she was about to get into things again, I didn't watch too much, but I, I, it was a part where she was about to get into things, and like you said, he was protecting her. But it's like, no, allow her, like, we want to know, like, allow her to get into her real emotions. But because that's her friend, you can see the conflict and you can see the the, 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 the tug of war of him trying to, like, give her a, a place to speak freely. But also, like, you're my friend. I, I want to protect you from maybe what they might say, the audience. And I felt that. Yeah. So it didn't feel genuine, if that makes sense. But that's, what a, that's what a friend's supposed to do, though. Of course. But, yeah. but for yeah. a consumer, I want to feel... I want to feel the rawness of it. I want to feel. I want it to feel genuine. <laughs> Baby, right, I like so my, it raw. You got to remember, there's a lot of legal stuff going on. Number one, number two, she's trying to. I don't. All right, so I, the only thing I can say from my perspective is, I never gave a shit about Carisha being with Diddy, <laughs> even after the shit came out. I'm like. She a chick. They start messing around. So what? Like, what does she have to do with? It? So those people that were bashing her, why are you paying attention to those idiots? Like, the, the fact that you allow this this general populace of idiots to just get up underneath your skin, I felt like that's problematic. And you're not good for this space if you're allowing that to get to you. That's number one. Number two, I like it. Should have been easy for you to say. Yo, we were in love. I love that man. Hey, I still love that man. Did I have to separate myself from him? Yes, because I came through two abusive relationships. When I found out he abused somebody else, he needs to deal with that within himself, and I need to protect myself. And I don't want to be a part of all of this other shit. And I, she kind of said it, but she said a whole bunch of other stuff in the midst of it that kind of muddied the it, it muddied her statements. And the problem is, is that she said from the beginning, man, we ain't do no preparation. I'm just jumping in. This is not the situation that you should have been freestyling in. Mm. You should have had each one of your topics, your questions were important questions. You should have had pre, at least pre-selected statements. You know what I'm saying? And the missile with so that way you don't fuck it up. So that way you don't look like it's because it would have looked a lot less fake if they had sat down with her and said, well, All right, all right, here's the question. How do you feel? Mm. And then she's saying, like, all right, don't say it like this, say it like that. And it and it would have came across a lot better. But her freestyling made it look fake because she would say something. Now we gotta backpedal. Now we gotta change. Now we gotta, you know what I mean? And it's just like, bro, it can't it, it came off bad. However, I felt like, yo, sh salute to her because you knew you was going to get views off of this. This is a great way to kick off your second season. You know what I'm saying? For you to go hard. And number three, salute the revolt. They needed something to put them back on the map. This is the first thing that, that has had people paying attention to revolt ever since the Diddy shit came out. Nobody has given a shit. And like, even our guy Nori has been doing phenomenal interviews. People don't accredit that to revolt, even though he's still signed there. Mm -hmm. So this really brought revolt back to the forefront and hopefully they can pivot off of this and build something substantial you know what i'm saying for the at future, what but... point though is the past uh a ref reflection of right now and i ask that because okay you were in abusive relationships right but you're clearly with me because of a reason like you you like me and like at what point can i grow from the past now i'm not I am not um, making it okay. I'm just saying as far as a relationship. Like, if I'm with you, right, and there's some things that I, I guess I didn't know about you, but I love the version of you now, mm -hmm. why do I have to leave you because of something that you did in the past if you was if you grown from that? Mm. Yo, I, you know what? I feel like that, that's an, that's, I, I feel like that decision is based on individuals. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, like, what you, what you would deem to be okay may not be what I deem to be okay. Uh, but I feel like no matter the time period that you give a person, you know, it's all about, uh, taking responsibility for what you did, uh, you know, seeking the help to, so that you don't do these things again. And then being able to build the trust between you and that partner. And I'm like, there's no telling the amount of time that those, those three individual steps require. Mm. So like, you know, it, it could be momentary or it could be years. Yeah. I was just asking mind. because like, why is it 
why why does this fall so hard on uh Carisha? I don't I don't, I don't get that. Like because I get I get guilty by association, but bro, like that was years ago. I had no idea that that happened. Right? It ain't like he's out here promoting it, telling me. Right, so I don't right. see how this affects her career or I, I I don't understand why this is so hard to even speak on. That's the reason why I was like, I was befuddled, like watching the whole thing. I'm like, why are you crying? Like, why? This, is, this isn't that serious. Like, who is on your neck? Now, I can see it affecting her money because when the shit comes out with Diddy, people go, all right, you real close to him. Nah, I don't want to do that deal with you. She might have had a bunch of business deals on the table that all kind of evaporated. And then now this is the where the part where I understand her being emotional. The the beef between her and JT. I thought that was important. All right, this is the, this is my this is my home girl. This is like one of my best friends. We out here getting money together. And all right, you see, I'm going through some shit with Diddy. Yo, as as the homie, the first thing she should have did is, hey, catch a flight. Let's lock in together. You know what I'm saying? Let's get this shit back right. You know what I'm saying? Let's pivot. JT was like, shit, I got to get my own career off the ground. And I feel like I feel like they both did some shit to each other and didn't talk about it, which is a ten- it's a tendency that people have to where, all right, Carisha, she falls in love. He's putting her up, 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 up. So JT might have been waiting to get in the studio, but she like, I ain't got time, homegirl. So then she started, then Carisha falls, JT start taking off. And now Carisha like, yo, come holla at me. And JT's like, yo, I'm busy right now. And instead of them being understanding of each other's ebbs and flows, they just going, oh, she hate me or, oh, she jealous of me and all that. And instead of just understanding that, look, both of y'all are, both of y'all are taking off at different times. And when one is taking off, the other one is taking a hit. And y'all should just be more understanding of that versus just being like, nah, forget her and we beefing and all that. Like, but you that's know, the thing and, about... And I, that's the thing about jealousy and animosity, man. It hurts bad because it comes, it's so, it's so close, right? That's why they say yeah. the, the trail hurts so bad. And if you think about the whole timeline of the city girls, right? From my perspective or from, from my understanding, JT was always the one that could rap and, and everybody knew that, right? So what happened was when I think JT was the one that really put things in motion for them to be city girls and for them to be lit. JT got to go to jail, but because the songs are so dope and it resonate with so many women across the world and even men, Carisha got, she reaped a lot of the, uh, the benefits of, 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 of that, right? JT didn't. JT was in jail. She couldn't enjoy that. So by the time they get out, Carisha is this superstar because she got the personality. She carrying the city girls on her back, right? And then she get with Diddy. So it's like, like you said, JT is chasing some type of, not even, I don't want to say no to Roddy, but like, Yo, just recognition, like, yo, remember, I'm I'm JT, y'all. Don't forget about me, right? I'm the one that got got the got got the talent. Not saying she's putting Carisha down, but it's like, yo, she's fighting for her recognition. She's 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 right. fighting for her identity for for people to to, to know who she is. So validation, when, yeah, validation. So when 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 Carisha continues to go up, and then like you said, this happens to Diddy. It's like, yo, I'm fighting for me, but now it's like. And this is why I say it's super important to be a person before any of this. Because now it's like, yo, do I put my career on the back burner again after I just did that? Like, I just got arrested to support my friend. And these are decisions that is, is you damned if you do, you damned if you don't, right? Like, she so now I got a little bit of motion. I got this thing in play. And then was my turn. I can't allow mm-hmm. nobody else what, what somebody else got going on to them what I got going on because I didn't did it before. I got it my own way. Now it's my turn. But as a friend, you will want somebody to be like, yo, you know what? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be there for my friend. Yeah, that's, but that's I mean, what that's, I think is go ahead. No, go ahead, Jay. I was only gonna say that that's why it's so important. It's easy when you broke and it's just the two of y'all, but like as y'all grow and then she's got a team, the other person got a team. And if you don't have mature people around you and you just got a bunch of people that's just gang gang related in it, meaning that they just going to take your side, man, fuck her. She ain't nah, nah. So if you got people on both sides going, fuck the other person and they, all right, well, I got this other opportunity for you. Fuck her. I got you. We're going to get this money over here. You know what I'm saying? Then that's what's going to lead to them separating mm. instead of them being mature adults and wanting to get the, and, and then y'all figuring out how to make it work between y'all. So like you know what I'm saying like but Nick yo how did you feel about it I mean I, I, you've been quiet because we've been talking our asses off but how did you feel about it Hello 
I I can hear you now. Your shit like went out for a second on my end. Oh my bad. Uh, I was trying to say, uh, what 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 is your opinion of you know the the the, the thirty minutes and what she was saying? I know because we were talking a lot. Oh no, I mean I also didn't watch it in its entirety, but I mean. I just struggle with with caring about shit like that, honestly. Like, I I just, I, I've been in situations where like shit that deals with like my relationships have been just, you know, out in the public because, you know, whether you're A list, B list, C list, whatever celebrity, motherfuckers gonna check on you if you got any type of motion or whatever the case is. So mm-hmm. I just know how I be when motherfuckers be in your business and it's like unwarranted and it's just like the same people that got opinions. It's the same motherfuckers that got shit in their closet, but you just not popping enough for anybody to give a fuck about what the fuck you got going on. Um, but I mean, Jay made a good point about how how impactful some shit from your past if you done moved on from it and got you know got past it. We don't know if 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 Diddy. I don't know if she said anything about how she was abused by Diddy or anything like that. Did she no, talk? No, no. She said she clearly said he didn't abuse me. I See, never so, saw that out of him. Okay. And then the video from the elevator shit was, you know, from years ago. Um, right. so it's like if he did move on and he's no longer that person, um sh- I mean, should he still technically be held to to that? Is it I don't know, man. That's tough, man. Was he supposed to come out and say, I did, I, hey, hey, y'all, look, man, I've been sitting on these skeletons. I just want to come out and clear everything. I've been this type of person in the past. I'm this monster, and now I'm going to seek help. Would that have maybe saved him? Would that have maybe make Risha not want to deal with him in the first place? I'm just like, oh, this ain't got all this shit going on. I ain't know nothing about it. Blah, blah, blah. Was she aware that any of this shit happened until it came out? And then it was just like, damn, I ain't know nothing about this. Yeah, that's pretty much what she said. She said she didn't know anything about this abuse. She didn't know anything. She said, I've never met that young lady. I don't know who she is. And, and I was just like, yo. But I had to start remembering. I was like, yeah, Carisha's only 25. Maybe 26. That's a young so, age, too, though. You know what I'm saying? So, like, uh, us being aware of the old Diddy and all of the women and stuff like that, that was 20 years ago. That was 20 some years ago. So probably when they was, you know, that was going on, she was a young girl, you know what I mean? And I don't know. I don't know if Diddy was a part of her existence at the 